Welcome, vinyl community and YouTubers everywhere. Going to show part of my rock and roll collection today. Of course, you hardcore guy, rock guys, won't say this is real rock and roll. You probably say this is blues rock. But you know, you're going to show some rock and roll. I had to change my attire for this video. So the first thing is. I got the t-shirt of the best radio show, the best uh, radio station there's ever been. KFAT, 94 and a half, Gilroy, California. And they announced in uh, their radio shows that they had a t-shirt to fit every size beer belly. And if you're going to listen to rock and roll, you got to get with the program. The other thing is, uh, I never raced on the mile, but for about 12 years off and on, I raced motorcycles, both dirt track and pavement. So I got, doesn't exist anymore, half mile track at the San Jose County Fairgrounds. But uh, I'm going to show the first eight albums of Little Feet, my Little Feet collection today. And, uh, I'll talk about them a little bit, and uh, I hope you enjoy something a little different on my channel today. So, let's rock! Little Feet's first record, 1975, but wait, I'm not done talking about KFAT, the world's best radio station. These guys played every kind of music. They were hilarious. I mean, it's a kind of show that just can't be duplicated, and I probably heard some little feet played on that station. I don't have a date, but they had a great transmitting site in the San Francisco Bay Area up on a mountaintop. So, of course, you know what happened. One of these big conglomerates in the early 80s bought them and went to top 40 crap like there was already 20 stations in the Bay Area playing that crap. So destroyed what was, uh, and I've lived all over the United States, so a shout out if anybody has ever listened to KFAT radio back in the 70s or the early 80s. So first Little Feet album, 1975, self-titled. I'm not going to take it out and show it. I will on some of these, and I will talk about them a little more. Just going to show the first uh, eight albums. And uh, in 1979, Lyle George, who was kind of the guy that started this, he was kind of the producer, kind of the leader of the group, he died, the last album I show, and probably the next album he may have had some stuff on. But I'm just uh, going to show the first eight and talk about them. People think, oh, blues rock, and they dismiss people. Well, this first album, when you look at Discog, says it's blues rock and country rock. And that's probably what it is. But like a lot of good bands, these guys matured as time went on. And their music got more sophisticated. I'll be talking about that a little bit. So don't just write these guys off. Oh, blues rock, southern rock, country rock. We've heard enough of that stuff. I like Little Feet. And uh, let's move on to their second album. That first album, album self-titled Little Feet. Uh, I got the date wrong. I don't know what I was thinking. You know, we go to these motorcycle races, we drink too much beer. But it was 1970. Uh, two years later, their second album, 1972, Little Feet Sailing Shoes. It's a good record. Blues Rock. Uh, this record and uh, another one or two I'll show you, I got from AcousticSounds.com. They sell used records, which you may not know. This is uh, Vinyl Mint Minus. Uh, was $15, and if you wait and watch, they often have 20% sales. So you get a Mint Minus uh, record uh, that you can count on for about 12 bucks, really good, and uh, this is an enjoyable record. 
the other thing is the first presses on these for some reason seem to come on this kind of avocado green uh, Warner Brothers label and then the second uh, presses come on the uh, palm tree kind of label. I don't know why that is. Uh, but uh, I noticed that in looking through these, and I always try to get early presses when I get, can. So uh, Blues Rock here again, uh, good tunes. The guys are moving on. Took them two years to get to the second record, number three, coming up. Next up, their third record, 1973, and uh, I'm going to tell a little bit about my favorites. This is one of my favorites. I would say uh, probably my third favorite of the eight, Little Feet Dixie Chicken. Love the artwork on these. This is another one got from Acoustic Sounds on sale, mint minus vinyl, $12. Often they have this sticker on here, clean by VPI. And so the other thing about these records is you're not only getting them in good condition, the best I can tell ever used records I've ordered from them has been cleaned in a good quality machine so you get a good record. Again, we got uh, Blues Rock, Southern Rock. I really like this. The guys have been playing together now for three years and the music and the musicianship has improved. The one I've got... You're on the palm tree label, but uh, happy to have this one. And uh, the next one may be one of my favorites. I work hard for you guys to try to make a decent video. And uh, I actually listened to all of these records in the process of putting this video together. And uh, the first six records, or six of the records, I listened to at least one side of each of them, all in one setting, so I could get a good feel for how I liked them, what they were like, what the differences was like, while I could still remember. And uh, this next one, my favorite one, and... Uh, it's the, it's the one that I played one side, and I really wanted to flip it over and listen to the other side. It was that good, but nope, I got to work for you guys, and so I got to move on through listening to one side of each record. But this is probably my favorite of the eight. Feats don't <laughs> Beats don't fail me now. I like that. Again, I got this used from Acoustic Sounds on sale, $16, mint minus. This is a German press, 180 gram remastered from the original master tape. So, of course, you know I like it there because all of these are sound fine, but this one sounds a little bit better. And uh, I just love the tunes on here. Most of the tunes are written by the Lyle George. He's the lead singer, the lead guitar guy, and he is just outstanding. But uh, this is the one I probably enjoyed more than any of them. This, this one gets a, uh, a good rating on Discogs, but uh, not their highest. And uh, this one on the... Uh, palm tree label so that's a good one that's probably my favorite let's see i had a couple things about this uh, <clears throat> sonics compare to a mofi pressing i put down here background vocals on this record you got emmy lou harris bonnie Raitt, and fran tate uh, and originals of this record, uh, early presses, go for $20 press, so I got this uh, $20 plus, so I got this really good German repress from the original Masters, and uh, probably my favorite of the group, but I like them all.
1975, their fifth album, and uh, I don't have any music clips in here. Uh, I think probably most anybody watching this video probably knows more about Little Feet than I do. I've come to a lot of this stuff fairly late, and so I'm just showing the albums and kind of giving my impression of them. Uh, the last record album, that wasn't true. And uh, I got this one. Got some writing on the back. I got this one in my local record store. I got down here VG++. One of the things great about this record, it was mastered at the Mastering Lab. And so I got a noted here, Sonic's Excellent Plus, and uh, a good rating from Discogs, and again on the uh, Palm Tree label. So this is a good one. Uh, not in my top favorite three, but again, uh, this is one you can pick up for cheap uh, at your record store, and uh, it's another good one. Their sixth record, 1977. This is one where I got to give you guys a little bit of a hard time. You want to pigeonhole the bands as uh, blues rock or whatever pigeonhole you put them in. Nope, these guys have progressed. Uh, they're playing a lot bigger variety of stuff and can probably do about anything. Little Feet, Time Loves a Hero. It is on the uh, palm tree label. I'm going to read my notes here. Uh, this was like a, a five dollar record, uh, near mint minus. Uh, early press, Sonic's excellent. No mastering info, but one of the things they're doing on this record, and they will be doing on the next record, which is their most was their most popular of the first eight. They got the Tower of Power horns playing with them, and so some of you will like that, and some of you won't. Uh, Discog says this is Southern Rock, Folk Rock, Jazz Funk, and Fusion. Okay, and that's what I'm talking about. This isn't just old-fashioned Southern Rock, Blues Rock. I would say this album leans fairly heavily towards Jazz Funk more than it does those other categories. And you got the Tower of Power horns on here. And again, uh, not one of my favorites, but I like it. And it shows that the guys are more than just blues rockers. Number seven, 1978, their most popular record. Had to be their most popular probably because this is a MoFi. Original master recording, half speed mastered. Title of this album was Waiting for Columbus, and I'm not going to take this out. You can check that out other places. Uh, MoFi Limited Edition number 3621, and of course this is a great sounding record. And uh, I mentioned the other one there that uh, Feats Don't Fail Me Now was my first favorite. This would be my second favorite. Uh, and uh, I want to give a little information about this. This was recorded originally by George Massenberg. It features uh, the Tower of Power horns, if you like that, and has the good backing vocals like it's on the other album, according to Discogs, so where they give a score of, of you know how the collectors rate them that comment. This is their highest rated one. Has some great tenor sax I put on here, uh, solos inserted, so that adds to the uh, the kind of stuff that you get. The Sonics Excellent Plus it was originally mastered at the Mastering Lab, so they had something good to start with. And a real high quality first press of this is twenty to forty dollars, and so. Uh, I picked up this new sealed MoFi just a year or two ago. I don't know if they're still available, but they're not much more than just getting a good first press. And uh, 
classic rock, blues rock we got down on here. But uh, this is their next to last one. And, uh, you know, it's one of the best. It was the most popular. Eighth record, 1979. I think about the time this record come out, Lyle George uh, had died. Uh, I should have checked that out. I think he was in a car wreck or something like that. And he was kind of the main force behind this. And so little feet down on the farm. Love that artwork by Neon Park. And uh, look at the nice picture of the boys on the back cover. Man, they don't look like rockers anymore, do they? They're all cleaned up. They got haircuts. They got their beards trimmed. Yep, this record's a little bit different. Uh, this is a good record, and uh, no uh, mastering info on this one. And I got the Sonics are average plus plus. Uh, this uh, was a little later reissue. I got it still in the shrink. Uh, later Warner Brothers kind of label. This one was enjoyable. This is one when I decided to do this video, I had uh, five or six of the little feet. And I thought, well, I'll go to Discogs and pick up a couple I don't have so I can just make a complete video here. And uh, you don't want to kill something by saying easy listening. Uh, this is blues rock, southern rock, but this is more laid back, more mellow. Uh, and it's a different side of these guys, and I like it. It was a very enjoyable record. In fact, in the process of doing this video, this was the last one I listened to, and I just listened to both sides because it was good. Now, uh, Lyle George was the main guy, and he's gone now, so I'm not actively seeking any of the ones that come later. I think the guys went on for quite a while, and they may be just as good. Maybe they're some better, but I'm not actively seeking them. If I see one at my record store, and it's 2 3 4 $5, it's one of the later ones. I'll pick it up and add it to the collection, but... Uh, I put in a little effort to get these first eight, and the next ones will just have to be ones I trip over. So I hope you all enjoyed my Little Feet collection, and see you on the track.